हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू द फोर्थ लेक्चर ऑफ द चैप्टर ह्यूमन हेल्थ एंड डिजीजेस इन दिस चैप्टर विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट एच सिस्टम टिश्यू ग्राफ्टिंग एंड ऑर्गन ट्रांसप्लांटेशन एच सिस्टम इज नॉट अ पार्ट ऑफ एन सी टेक्स्ट बुक बट क्वेश्चन आर देयर इन योर प्रेस्टिजियस एग्जाम्स लाइक एम्स एंड जिपमर ओके सो आई एम प्रिपेयरिंग यू फॉर द बेस्ट ऑल राइट सो लेट्स स्टार्ट the hla system before explaining you about hla system i think you know about how blood grouping is done and how blood is transfused from one person to another you cannot by your own mind take blood of someone and infuse it into someone and someone other you need to check the blood group and further the rh whether it is rh positive or rh negative everything plays an important role okay so that is compatibility like one blood may or may not be compatible for another person that is compatible to one person all right similarly for your body parts that are under the control and sorry not under the control that are under the defense system of your immune system okay like your organs so you cannot simply take your kidney and give it to someone else and you cannot expect that it will work the same way in the other's body okay so obviously it is as simple as that yes so hla system there is a perfect compatibility system in your body okay ah, yes yeah, yeah i'll show you yes yes so the main thing you need to remember is on chromosome number 6 okay there is the major histocompatibility complex all right that is also called as hla complex see histo related to histone that is related to your genetic structure okay compatibility related to compatibility check okay so there is something something complex which checks your histone compatibility all right or that is also called as human leukocyte antigen now suppose this antigen may provoke the other's immune system to make antibody against it and so that part might be rejected i think you didn't understood i'll tell you again okay now suppose i'm donating my kidney to someone okay my hla does not matches with the other hla so i am having an human leukocyte antigen in my rbcs okay in my rbcs and that particular uh, kidney now if it will go to another person's body what will happen is that since it is an antigen his immune system his or her immune system will start preparing antibodies against that particular kidney that have been given from my body and and simultaneously it will destroy that graft okay that graft kidney all right so this is how hla compatibility gets checked all right now one more thing is haplotype i think you know about it array of hla alleles on a homolog of chromosome 6 okay that's a haplotype and regarding haplotype only identical twins can have the same haplotype all right so i think this is not that important for you you just know what is hla okay hla is human leukocyte antigen that is and you need to remember the which on which chromosome the genes are located all right moving to the next part is tissue grafting and organ transplantation so what are the processes involved all right what will you be having at first you will be having blood test obviously blood should be compatible then pre and post operative steroid therapy you know what for is this now before telling you that i'll i'll tell you see i told you in previous lectures there are two kinds of immune system okay in your body one is cell mediated and one is humoral immunity that is antibody mediated now all these issues of selecting and rejecting body part is under the control of cell mediated immune system this is a very famous question of neat okay so you always remember cmi recognizes self and non self parts and so responsible for selection or rejection of graft all right is it clear okay now i'm telling you about yeah tissue grafting and organ transplantation so we are having at first blood test then pre and post operative steroid therapy that is basically an immunosuppressive therapy okay just to suppress your immune system so that uh, it cannot be hyperactive when you are going to do then mhc matching that is major histo compatibility complex matching that's very very important because if you don't do this that graft will be rejected by the cell mediated immune system okay 
in it what happens is that just i have given a brief description so you just understand it what i have given okay now here we are having on sixth chromosome i think you know that then mhc hla complex is there mhc antigen is there that is of further two types okay mhc1 and mhc2 mhc1 is on all except the rbcs everyone is having mhc1 and mhc2 is only on antigen presenting cells which the cells which present themselves to antigen okay now it's so beautifully explained i'll, I'll tell you antigen presenting cells now to whom antigen will be presented okay just and feel it, understand it obviously to antibodies okay like macrophage is a cell eater b cells are obviously your antibodies okay what is going to happen like which go and present themselves to antigen like one antigen is there antibody will go and present it if the matching is there like if hla complex is matching then okay if not then it will destroy it as i told you the graft will be rejected okay is it clear so next slide is yes now some different kinds of graft we are having okay F at first you are having autograft then isograft then homo or allograft then hetero or xenograft okay autograft it is intra individual grafting okay like uh, sometimes taking a vein from your leg part and uh, transplanting it to somewhere in your upper body part okay so that's autograft within your body okay isograft that is within genetically similar as between homozygotic twin that's very very important you cannot have a heterozygotic twins undergone uh, isograft because they are not perfectly genetically similar when one zygote divides into two this is a different case and when two separate eggs are fused and two separate zygotes make twins that is a different case i think you are clear about it so in case of homozygotic twins only you can have an isograft and the success rate is very high okay because they have genetic similarity obviously hla will be matching for them okay since they are originated from the same zygote next is homo or allograft that is basically for genetically dissimilar individuals like within your family suppose uh, you donate your kidney to your mother okay so that will be an allo or we can say homograft okay it might be possible that it might get rejected because hla might not be matching and it might be possible that it gets grafted perfectly all right then you can have hetero or xenograft okay that is within two unrelated individuals like uh, your your neighbors you, you you graft your some body part to your neighbor okay so that's kind of xenograft and it's very rare that xenograft is success. it's very very rare that xenograft is successful okay because within your family it's hard to match hla so it's very much tough further to match outside your family okay and one more thing that i have mentioned regarding cyclosporin a i think you have read this in uh in the previous chapters or it might be coming to you that cyclosporin a that is an uh that is an immunosuppressive agent okay now i told you i think you know you understand what for immunosuppressive is required in this case obviously to suppress your immune system and this is very important actually okay because if you don't suppress your immune system at the time of craft the sudden response of your immune system might lead to the failure of the whole grafting process so this is very important for the immunosuppressive agent and and suppose you are taking an immunosuppressive drug so you become prone to several other diseases also so, so that's a risk of these immunosuppressive agents okay but everything has pros and cons okay so it's all right then next slide we are having yeah chances of success as i told you the most successful graft that you can have is obviously the self graft within your body okay then identical twins that is homozygotic twins then within your siblings then with your parents and then unrelated donors okay so this is i think this is i think or what this is extremely rare that unrelated donors have a successful graft give a successful graft okay you know so i think i yeah, this much only for this lecture so i made you clear about the hla system you need not to worry 
because this is not your exactly part of syllabus but sometimes questions comes regarding this chromosome 6 what i told you and uh, major histocompatibility complex okay and uh, regarding haplotype what i told you so you need to just keep in your mind that how it works how this grafting and all takes place okay and regarding the process yeah this is ncert part that i told you about tissue grafting yes this one regarding tissue grafting organ transplantation regarding the process blood test and all these things these are ncert part and what the most important thing this the immunity responsible for recognition of self and non-self that is cell mediated immunity you need to remember this okay and then autograft isograft all these things are part of ncert the cyclosporin a you need to remember this okay because this will come in your one more chapter also okay and the chances of success so keep learning enjoy reading biology and if you any you have any doubts you can directly message me all right and we'll meet soon with a new lecture and from there we'll be starting human health and diseases the diseases part okay and i have planned to cover all the diseases once again that we have read in human physiology also because it uh, you'll get to know in a go because we are when we are reading diseases i think we should read all kinds of diseases okay so it will be better your whole book will be covered and you can prepare in a much focused and in a better way okay so thank you keep watching the videos stay tuned to unacademy thank you